Poco F6 Pro, the only gaming phone you should care about in 2024. Actually, this came out a few months ago pa. Ngayon ko siya debut. But during that time, I have uh, checked it out. Performance, battery life, display quality, and even the cameras. Right now for the price, I don't think there's any other gaming phone, any other performance phone na masulit pa dito. Pero ito, to solidify your decision making, let's check it out. Pas the you're watching, Unbox Diaries. Uh -huh. Binigay sa akin ni Xiaomi yung kanyang data, yung sa kanyang sales data regarding the Poco F6 series. Nagulat ako na hindi mabenta si F6. F6 Pro ang binibili ng lahat. Performance-wise, camera and specs parang malit lang difference nila. And yung presyo parang mm. Pero kasi guys, alam ko na yan. Later ko sabihin ko sa inyo kung bakit. Now, ang okay dito is meron siyang tatlong configuration. Meron siyang 256, 512, at meron siyang 1TB na version na pwede mong bilhin. UFS 4.0 na po yun. Sobrang bilis yan, latest na po yun. Also yung RAM niya LPDDR5X. The latest then. This is one of the main reasons kung bakit binibili yung Pro version over the F6. Why? Yung itsura. Kasi si F6 guys, kamukha pa rin niya si F5. And finally, double the charging speed. Last year, 67 watts. Ngayon, 120. And it looks like pa rin niya i-charge yung mga laptop. Nice. USB Type-C cable. And of course, syempre may mga papers dito and yung kanyang jelly case. And dito rin. Now this looks very familiar. Naalala niyo ba to? This is the Redmi K70 global version. Tapos yung hindi tayo, no? Kasi December, narinig ko si Redmi K70 and I was blown away by that phone. Design-wise, talagang sobrang different na yung look niya from the Poco F5 Pro. From the camera, the textured back design, and even the shape of the phone. Yung likod, Corning Grill Glass 5 button material. And this is matte finish. Hindi po siya dumihin. Especially the black. Actually, kahit black or white color, hindi po dumihin yung likod niya. I like the matte finish, very smooth, and very clean looking. Parang ayaw kong gamitin na yung jelly case after having this kind of design. Aluminum metal body. Wow. Very hefty po siya. May bigat. Actually, it feels much more premium than the FI Pro. Yung nga lang, hindi big fan ng kanyang camera module. Uh, Siyempre, pag nakita mo yung ganitong klaseng design, it kinda reeks mid-range or entry-level Poco. Ito kasi yung itsura ng mga Poco M series nila. So, wala lang. I'm very nitpicky kasi nga flagship na po siya. Para syempre pag sa malayo, no? pag nakita nila, ano yan? Mid-range ba yan or entry level? Yun lang. Kailangan meron kasi separate sa flagship and their mid-range or entry levels. Siguro next year, sana mas maganda yung kanyang camera module. Well, nag na tayo sa December. Makita natin agad si Poco F7. Si Redmi K80 pala yun. <laughs> By the way, yung kanyang camera sa likod ay 50 megapixel OIS camera. Meron siyang ultra-wide angle lens at meron siyang depth sensor. No telephoto lens here whatsoever. If you want a telephoto lens, you definitely get a Xiaomi flagship phone. Yun nga lang, wala siyang headphone jack. Oh my god. Malaking effect na yun sa mga gamers. Dual speaker man daw siya. May high-res audio, high-res wireless audio. But probably the best thing about the design is yung kanyang flat display. Siyempre, if you're looking for a gaming phone, kailangan flat yung display. And this is just not any ordinary flat display. Sobrang high quality nito. This is a 6.67 inch Quad HD Plus display. Pero by default guys, 1080p siya. FHD Plus in the setting. You need to turn on the WQHD Plus within the setting. Kaya lang it's more battery. And I don't recommend it kasi sobrang lit lang ng display niya. Hindi mo makikita yung difference. Which is only 5,000 mAh pala kanyang battery. This is also IP54 water and dust resistance. Which is splash proof. Sprinkle proof, medyo konting rain, pero bawal siya maluglub guys, masira siya. Okay na rin, no? Ibang flagship kasi guys, IP68 na, 69. Now this thing has two colors, meron siyang white and black color. Yung design niya, very, parang siya ata na nauna. Meron ako nakita mga gitong klaseng designs from other brands din, ginaya din siya, no? Meron si Vivo, at si, at si Oppo, meron siyang ganitong klaseng design. Parang siya marble design. Also meron siya parang blizzard or white fire effect sa likod kapag uh, tinatama na ilaw. That's nice. Avalanche, yes, pwede. Pwedeng avalanche. Hindi lang ako big fan ng uh, maraming text sa likod. Takes away the premiumness. Ganun si Global, guys. Si, kung si China Rom to, <laughs> malinis talaga to. Walang ganyan. You're also gonna love the metal body. No? Sobrang premium talaga ng feels. You know, antenna bands, oh. Everywhere. Talagang metal siya. Now, wala na itong SD card slot. But it does have an option for 1TB. If you really have the money, no? kung gaming talaga habol mo, and pang matagalan, go get the 1TB na. It's 16 one TB na yan. Meron siya 12 to 5, 6, pero kung sa inyo, 1 terabyte talaga. Now, I did mention the display earlier. 6.67 inch WQHD plus display. Very sharp and also very bright. Ang sabi ni Xiaomi, 4,000 nits of HDR brightness. Pero most of the time, it's only 500 plus nits of brightness yung sa indoor ha. And sa labas naman, umabot siya ng 1,200 nits of peak brightness. Which is actually much improved from the FI Pro. It's brighter this time around. Movies are much more clear, crispier, and much more watchable. Yung alam for watching movies or playing games, I highly prefer naka-earphones ako. Siyempre mara siyang 
high res wireless audio really helps. Pero yun, go get a pair of earphones na wireless para mas maganda experience yun dito. You will not regret it. Sayang lang wala siyang headphone jack. The display is also a 120Hz refresh rate display. HDR10 Plus na to, Dolby Vision. Has all the bells and whistles of a typical high-end flagship display. Ibig sabihin, kung uh, nagbabala ka muli ng isang cellphone for, just for watching movies, hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng mga kapresyuan ni iPhone or ni Samsung S24 Ultra, which is times 3 times 4 the price of this phone? This is all you need. And yes, nagkikick in po yung kanyang HDR, Widevine L1 na po to, sa Netflix. And every time we watch a movie on Netflix, talagang klarong-klaro siya. Even the darkest parts ng mga horror movies, klarong-klaro pa rin may mga details, yung dark parts. And kapag uh, sobrang bright naman yung scene, kitang-kita pa rin yung mga details. Also, better brightness and better color overall. By the way, meron siyang mga extra settings dito sa, sa display. Just like its predecessor, meron po siya yung mga AI image engine, super resolution for more sharpness, more detail, Memsi for smoother frames sa uh, video. Kung gusto mo ng parang gameplay yung itsura ng uh, inyong video, yes, gagana po siya sa YouTube, gagana po siya sa, sa Netflix. Pero sa Netflix, I highly suggest 24 FPS lang yun. Para mas cinematic. Pero kapag nanonood ka ng mga gameplay video sa YouTube, yung mga games, ayun, dun na. Dito, dito pumapasok si Memsi See, making videos much more smoother. Para dun pala yun. Kasi syempre, ano ba yung use na 60 frames per second sa movies, di ba? Less cinematic po siya. Pero I like the effect. Yes, parang naglalaro ka ng game sa YouTube. Yun yung dating niya. Very smooth. Very gameplay-like. Very, very gamey. No? Okay na siya sa mga action movies and sports. Everything will look smoother, faster, much more responsive. Ano ang touch something rate? Well, it's... By default, 400Hz lang po siya. But if you want more, kailang mo i-add siya sa Game Turbo. Kapag na-add mo na yung game sa Game Turbo, for example, itong touch something rate, no? Pag wala sa Game Turbo, 400Hz lang. Pero nung inadamin siya, may lumabas na panel dito, sa side. Kinili ko yung Enhanced Touch. From 400Hz, naging 500Hz na siya. Much more responsive, snappier, mas pang gaming na. Pero reaching 500 is pang kairi na yung responsiveness. Meron kasi ganun guys, mga halimo yung responsiveness. Yung reflex na katawan talagang sobrang mabilis. Uh, yung gaming sense talaga. Gaming sense? Ay mas mabilis. Now all I can say is the display is just magnificent. It is the best of the best right now for the money. Hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng mga S24 Ultra, iPhone, pa naman yung 16. I actually compared it sa iPhone 15 Pro Max. And mas maganda yung display niya. Really, side by side, ito na. It's brighter, mas sharper, and of course, syempre, mas brighter din siya kaysa kay F5 Pro last year. Kung wala ka bang F5 Pro, now is the best time to upgrade. Pero may F5 Pro ka, siguro not muna. Wait mo na lang yung F7 Pro, pero next year pa yun. Now, before I show you the performance, syempre, naka-hyper OS na po to. Yung insura niya po is very iOS. Also, getting some latest updates. Kasi guys, kapag ka budget phone, madalas walang updates na. Pero to guys, Xiaomi is giving you real updates. Kahit mura siya. Mura para sa may 20,000 plus. <laughs> na budget. At kung naka MIUI pa yung F5 Pro mo, wala siyang HyperOS upgrade, then this will be the main reason kung bakit ka mag-upgrade. Kasi nga, MIUI ang daming issue guys. Just this year, meron naman silang issue with the update which affected a lot of Xiaomi users. Na-delete yung kanilang mga files. Benta mo na yung MIUI phone mo. Just buy a HyperOS device. Even yung kanilang sasakyan, HyperOS na S7 ni Xiaomi. Most reliable for now. We're not even sure if okay siya in the long term. Pero yun, at least bago na yung software, hindi na siya MIUI. Yun lang, yung global version ay maraming bloatware. Itong oh. games and Lazada More apps What the Poco community Ito yung bagong Reddit Ng mga Poco users Yung mga topics ay pang bash lang ng iPhone at Samsung Binabash mo sa Apple Pero kamukha ng iOS yung software Now siya <laughs> performance wise Mabot ng 1.7 million points Sa to benchmark This thing is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor Very fast This is the flagship processor Noong 2023 Not 2024 Now, 2024 has the Gen 3 na po But for pretty much any kind of gaming, any task, walang problema po. Uh, actually, 8 plus Gen 1, kaya ang kaya pa rin ng pretty much any game sa Play Store, 60 FPS, no problems whatsoever. And upgrading to 8 Gen 2 will just solidify your gaming decision. Kung pang gaming hanap mo ha, at syempre, dahil Xiaomi, guys, pretty much any game in the Play Store ay sobrang optimized for this phone. Mobile Legends, Ultra Ultra. And yes, high resolution game. Also, walang frame drops whatsoever. Talagang sobrang smooth. Kung meron ka lang pera, huwag ka na mag Infinix GT20 Pro. Ito na nabili mo. Hindi, seryoso guys. Uh, sobrang bilis niya. Sobrang bright ang display. Ang premium pa ng body. Ito pang 3 years na to guys. Infinix, you're not even sure kung meron siyang mga updates in the future. This one, sure na sure yan. Also, the display and the shape of the phone. Parang iPhone na. <laughs> Sabun style. Yes, sabun style na siya guys. Very comfortable when playing games and flat yung display. 
Very nice. No mis touches whatsoever. No? Even sa pinaka-edge ng display, very responsive brand. Yung nga lang, uh, medyo na-underwhelm ako sa kanyang game mode. Yung mga ibang brands kasi, maganda yung kanilang game mode. Tapos yung Black Shark, yun na lang game mode dito. Oh, but speaking of Black Shark, ano yung Black Shark? Nalugi na ba yun? Wala na. Kinain ni Poco. They're actually selling to the same audience. Kasi nga yung presyo, magkalapit lang. So, yeah, kinain na ni Poco. Red Magic, yun yung pinakamagandang game mode na nakita ko. Like ever. Sobrang mature, sobrang full-featured. Pero okay lang. Sakto na kanyang game mode. Uh, the game mode on this thing is pretty similar sa mga mid-range ni Poco ni Xiaomi. Yeah. Wala masyadong flair. Parang boring tingnan yung kanyang interface. Even yung sidebar na lalabas, very boring din yung itsura niya. Very simple lang. Call of Duty! Ay, oh my god. Ito, ito yung talagang optimized. No? Ultra frame rates. Pero with this, nakamedium graphics ka pa. That's why, ang ganda ng graphics guys. Sobra. And sobrang immersive ng experience. Ang smooth ng galawan. Sobrang responsive pa talaga ng controls niya. Oh, talagang 500 hertz yung pakaramdam. And sa baba, napansin ko, meron dito extra setting for the 120 FPS. Yes, meron siyang capability to go 120 FPS if you're looking for that. Kasi iba guys, meron silang ultra pero wala silang 120 FPS controls dito sa ilalim. Ito meron. Yes, mga 90 FPS lang. Ito, ito yung kompleto. Ito yung parang best friend nila si Call of Duty. Yun, yung developers nila. Si Infinix siguro, may medyo nililigawan pa si Call of Duty. Genshin Impact! Oh my God! 60 FPS na po to at the highest settings. Sa ganda po yan. Uh, if ganito na yung klaseng performance na binibigay ng Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or this phone, bakit pa mag 8 Gen 3? This is all you need. If it can't go higher than this, wala na. Wala, there's no other game in the Play Store na kailangan pa na more performance than this. Simply put it, overkill na po yung mga Gen 3. Siguro pang future-proof mo na lang. Baka may bagong game na lumabas na medyo mabigat na baka hindi kaya ng mga 8 Gen 2. But yeah, 8 Gen 2 is all you need na. And okay na to for the next 2, 3 years. And another good thing about this is perfect siya for use. For emulators, ayan. So kung mahilig ka mag-emulator, yes, Snapdragon po yung pinaka-optimized for emulators. Yung pinaka-least na may problema. Kasi dimensity guys, hindi ka naka-supported yung mga... MediaTek processors na mga developers. Snapdragon talaga sila. And with that, pretty much any game in the Play Store will run pretty smoothly on this phone. Ito na po yun. Kung si, kaya lang, 8 plus Gen 1 last year, medyo may mga hiccups pa ng konti, mga 50 FPS pa mababa na ganun. Ito wala na guys. 60 na siya lagi. 60 frames per second. Pero Beans, I want to use that as my daily driver. Ito nang bumili ng separate phone for the camera. Is the camera really good on this phone? Well, don't expect flagship level na goodness. Pero overall, guys, I saw the pictures pretty, pretty good. Hindi siya ganun ka pro for me. I've seen pro level color. Pro level bokeh. Pag camera kasi guys, important talaga yung image quality sa mga photographers like yung ganun ka pro yung itsura ng picture. Kasi madalas sa mga cellphone, uh, mukhang kuha ng cellphone. Overprocessed, oversharpened, super saturated yung color. Ganun po yung dating niya dito. Pero hindi siya ganun ka OA compared sa mga ibang phones na review ko. But it still has that sickness of the camera smartphone. Pero to, if you're really good at your photography skills, you will really get some amazing looking photos with this phone. Meron siyang histogram, meron siyang parang sa audio levels. Also full control ng ISO, shutter speed. At meron na siyang mga filters built in na rin. Ultra wide angle lens, yes meron siya. 0.6x ito yung tsura niya. Even in low light, sobrang okay din na kanya ultra wide angle lens. Klarong klaro pa rin. Pero syempre mas maganda pa rin mga Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G in terms of camera. Xiaomi 13T or 14T na lalabas. Mas kompleto sila. If you really want yung parang flagship talaga na camera, Mag Xiaomi 14 ka na lang. Yung Xiaomi 14 talaga, kung mayroon talaga akong pera, I would actually get the best of the best na. Yun nga lang, medyo maliit lang yung Xiaomi 14. Kung mayroon lang 14 na mas malaki, instant buy sa akin yun. The Poco F6 Pro has a pretty nice pricing. 12256, 26,999 pesos lang. The 12512 naman is 28,999. And yung 16 1TB is 32,799. Medyo pricey siya. Pero, guys, may live ako. Kaya ito 21 na lang. Piso, piso. Pero yun, you, you usually get a Poco phone kapag discount siya. Not sa SRP niya. Yun talaga yung kanyang tunay na value. Kasi nga guys, online product lang po ang mga Poco devices or Poco phones. Kapag mga Xiaomi phones, nasa mall sila. Mga Poco phones, you will never see this in their mall. Wala siya masyadong mga overhead expense like yung rent nila sa mall, sa mga tao nila, and things like that. Ito kasi guys, mas meron silang control sa pricing. And getting it at an SRP rate is parang lugi ka doon. Go get it sa aming life. 21, ne, ne, joke lang. Pero if you want to buy somewhere else, no problem naman. I'm just here to review the product and to give value to you guys. And if you want more value, want a different phone, uh, something for Christmas, I have something for you. Always have something for you. Subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon, so that you don't miss any of my great content. Because means, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!